hey, I just got out of the theater. I just saw Finding Dory with my mom and my sister. We all enjoyed it very much. So no Finding Nemo. But then again, there is only one Finding Nemo. It's called Finding Nemo. Dory needs to find her family in this film, and that's kind of the entire story. Uh, she gets memories, flashbacks, and she's got to go find them. She's got to go find her family that she's forgotten. Marlon and Nemo in this movie? Classic. Just like the movie. Finding Nemo. Classic. Dory, voiced by Ellen DeGeneres, I just got the name right, was really hilarious. I mean, she was really funny, as Dory was in the original film. My only problem with Dory in this movie is that she was too forgetful. She was like my grandma, I call her Granny, who has dementia, except for she was like, you know, she had dementia coupled with, like, speed or something. So she quickly forgot everything within half a second. It got annoying. My, my only other flaws, really, in the movie were the fact that it was a little too kitty. I mean... It was like, you know how the original Monsters, Inc. was just, it was great for everyone. The Monsters University was good, but it was better for kids. That's how Finding Dory is, except for it's better than Monsters University. But, you know, still I enjoyed the movie. I laughed all the way through it, and it was, it was it's a very enjoyable film. You should go out and see it, especially if you're a fan of Finding Nemo. Because if you aren't, you should die. I gotta talk about the octopus in this movie. Hank, he's a really cool character. Really cool new side character. You're gonna meet him. You're probably going to like him because he's pretty cool. I will give Finding Dory an 8 out of 10. So, a B-. minus. Anyways, guys, if you've seen Finding Dory, you want to tell me what you think about it, comment below, like, subscribe if you already haven't. With that... <laughs>